Okay, well, shit, what are y'all doing? Screwing. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to All About D. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all, it's gonna be a little DIY project on different ways to style a white tank top with safety pins and, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. All you need is some tank tops, safety pins, and scissors. I noticed like it's been a trend. Anybody that knows me know like I live by the um, by white tank tops just because A, it, it's a look. It can be casual, it can be classy. Yes, I say classy. It can just be like, you know, lounger. Honestly, it's what it is. I personally like them. I wear them a lot. I wear them pretty much with anything. I think it's like my signature thing now. But let's get to it, guys. Let's get to it, guys. Okay, so first thing first, you need the tank top, obviously. I get them in a small just because I'm more, I'm, I'm petite. But because it's men, it's a tad bit, it's still a little bit big on me. So I have like either like rubber bands. I just like, you know, tie it in the back for like the little the uh, effect. And plus, I don't have, I don't have big boobs. I have, I'm part of the itty bitty titty committee. So yeah. So you need this. Your safety pins and scissors. That's it. Okay, Woo. so these are like ones that are like pre-made, but I'm going to show y'all how to make them. Okay. Okay guys, so first thing first, what you need to do is put it on and mark where you want to cut it. You don't want to overcut it to where like, you know, it's nothing but your boobs showing. And yeah, but usually since I wear them a lot, I have like a good idea of um, how much I need to cut off. So for this particular one that I'm doing, it's going to be a halter top. Very boob friendly. But honestly, with this kind of things, you can honestly go crazy with it. It's, it honestly depends on you and what you want to do. And another thing is, usually when I cut it in half and like um, I really want to get like a good idea of what I want to do, I put it on and just like safety pin it to where like, you know, my mind takes me. So that's just really pretty much what you guys do and just go crazy. <laughs> to mark where you want to cut it that's also completely fine um i had to do it here just to get like a good idea of like you know where i wanted to cut it at because i was cutting it from like um a different angle this time <laughs> So for this one, I had a tie in the back. That's why there's like a huge knot right there. It kind of made it difficult, but it's pretty much the same thing, just a different style. I call this one like the butterfly, the butterfly top. <laughs> Okay, so this tie was pretty easy. All I did was cut it down the middle and just tie like a two top. Okay, so for this one, I just pretty much um, cut each side and just tie the sides up together. And I'm just showing you like a different way to like, you know, make another look. And how I got the off the top effect was I took the two corner pieces, connected in the back and just safety pin it. Just to really give it like the um, alternate kind of look. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found it help and find it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Mwah.